is also fairly simple. Uh, they call us or they email us or Brian meets them at uh, a fair, uh, at a tabling event, something like that. We make initial contact. Uh, we perform an intake over the phone, takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, and then we get a couple of supporting documents from them, proof of income, proof of a diagnosis. And then we you can set your stuff up so, to, so it can make really look really neat because things have shifted in the box to let uh, people know that um, we are developing, you have a toolkit, the resource for your journey. And please, there should be a little paper in there with um, with the sponsor on it as well as caregivers respite. And it has some hashtags. So please take a picture, post those to your social media, tag caregivers respite, or tag me, Janice Williams, uh, and let people know uh, what we're doing today. Today, November is National Family Caregiver Month, and we want to make sure that we celebrate family caregivers. Today, we are becoming more savvy because we realize that there has been a shift in how we care for our loved ones and how we care for ourselves. So I'm excited. Um, and so, so far we have had, um, we've had Sozo, they have a flyer in there. We've also had, um, let me see here. We've also had um, the Tennessee Respite Coalition. Now, they have a flyer there as well. Please um, circle their information right on the back of those papers and make sure you reach out to them and um, keep it in your binder. All right. And so... We want to move forward. We've got a um, um, a resourceful moment. Um, actually, it is about starting hard conversations. And so there's a resource in your box. Let me see who I have my resource. Uh, so actually, there's two resources in your box. One is a flyer of our speaker. And let me reach. Oh, there she is right there. And it's going to be uh, Bogonia Woods Harris. And this lady is so dynamic. Many of you already know her. But she is, she works a lot with advocacy for family caregivers and also with grief. Um, she does grief uh, workshops. And you really want to make sure you connect with her. Uh, her flyer is in the box. Please put, hold, put, put your holes in it and put it into your binder, which is your resource directory. And also, she's going to talk to us. If you can pull out this guide, um, she's going to talk to us about five wishes and starting hard conversations. So uh, let's bring up uh, Ms. Harris. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. I'm still, I'm still sharing... Um, but I want to, if someone can take that off, whoever's sharing that, I, I'm going to be, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to be motor mouth today because we have had such an exciting morning and there have been so many good resources. Let me just okay. share. Well, let's see if we can find you. Um, is anybody seeing Ms. Mavonia? I'm, Ms. Up, I'm Ms. up top. Harris? I'm up top. Uh, I'm, you know, I guess I don't see you. <laughs> um, okay, Lord. Well, let's highlight her picture. Oh, it should. It, it should. You should be able to get me if you change the view. If I'm talking. Okay. okay. There you go. All right. There, there I am. Okay. Hi. 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 Five highs with grace this morning as I talk to you about hard conversations. Now, as Janice has said. She has already talked about the box. And, and this morning, I, I renamed it as I was opening my box. I named us the box openers. And that's what we're going to be in this presentation. We're going to be the box openers. I am a grief and relationship coach. Uh, just added some marital coaching uh, this, um, well, in, in July of this year. And so I'm doing all three of those. And so when, what you see on my flyer is got all of the links that you can find me. 
I am offering to you uh, to do a 15 minute to 30 minute one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching on the five wishes. So I'm going to primarily what I'm going to do today is just uh, have you acclimate to the five wishes. Genesis said your box is open and in your box you have the five wishes. Uh, I have been able to present this several times to the caregivers uh, support group and also just doing, we actually did hands-on workshop where we had people to sign it, uh, uh, go through it. But I'm, I'm focusing on hard, hard conversations. Remember Janice talked about the fact that uh, so many times we're thrown into situations that we didn't ask for, we don't want, and we'll give them away as well as well as we can. Well, hard conversations is one of those things that sometimes in life you will come to it. So the first thing, and when we had, I had three poll questions. I don't know if Janice has, is able to put them up, but let, okay. They are there. There is a, so I want you to answer the, answer the questions to the poll before I accept the last one. Well, no, just go on and answer them. Because I'm expecting that after we finish today and as we go through uh, this shift, Jenna says that hashtag a time to shift is where we are now. So first of all, we, we found out that we may not have been box openers, but box openers are uh, people that are, we are talking about. I happen to be an advocate for Patient Advocacy uh, Foundation, Patient Advocate Foundation. I happen to be a, a vice president of Wings of Love, which is a nonprofit organization that we work out of Memphis. And so I, uh, I am adding all of the things that we're talking about today, trying to, uh, I'm trying to do a YouTube at the same time, but I'm not that coordinated yet. But uh, I did want to say the five wishes, if you finish your poll, I'll give you another 30 seconds. I'm an old what we call a boon. A boon is a body of an older nurse. And so I have 53 years of experience as a nurse. So I expect you to go fill this out and in the next 30 seconds and we can take it off of the screen. Thank you all. Okay, we have compliments of Spring Valley Hospice uh, for this five wishes. I have been doing five wishes for the city of Memphis, uh, what we call the Healthy Shelby program. I was trained in 2013, and my focus is on faith co uh, communities, and I'm also a community nurse. Uh, so what I want to talk to you about, if you all are finished with your your poll, Janice, will I be, uh, well, I guess it's telling me I need to fill out mine. Okay, I was about to say, will I be able to get the, those results? The first thing I want to say is, oh, yes, look at that. Oh, I tell you, this 76-year-old woman is getting this technology <laughs> together. Uh, 